Well, here's another crazy experiment. I'm trying to grow a cucumber plant indoors using a desktop hydroponic garden. This is the Let Pot LPH Max, which has a great feature of a pump that pulls water up to replenish whatever's used in the bowl that holds the plant. I picked out this basket weave plastic container. However, a five gallon bucket would work. The pump inside has fairly good action. The whole system pulls around 36 watts. This is where the nutrients are added. And when the water is put into the unit, it automatically doses the nutrient. Auto mode can be activated by pressing and holding for three seconds. That is what actuates the refill cycle. Once that is activated, you'll notice that there is a jet of water that suddenly happens from the back left of the unit. And this is all being pulled from the reservoir that I just showed to you. This white plastic piece is the float valve and that is what sets off the refill cycle. And once it gets up to where this float valve is near the top, the water will automatically kick off. When I originally set up the unit, I switched over to Dynagro 936, and after doing so, I found that the leaves are getting much more normal looking. It was a very healthy plant that I started. For anyone who's ever tried to grow cucumbers, you'll know that they have quite a root system and can be rather large. If you want to be able to do anything similar, limit the vines. When you're in a small container like this, you don't want vines rambling off all over the place. Second, pick a parthenocarpic variety of cucumber because it will set fruit without a pollinator. The third thing would be trim off excess fruits because parthenocarpic varieties will produce dozens of baby cucumbers. You can only mature one to three at a time. This is the first time that I've pruned this in the 67 days of growth. I'm gonna come back in and remove some of the leaves that did not look as healthy from the uh, former nutrients. I wanna find out how many branches I have. This is uh, probably about the extent of the leaves that I'll take off. Okay, so most of those are healthy looking. Now, once that those are all off, I look at how many vines are coming off of the plant. One primary vine, one secondary vine. There's another secondary vine and a tertiary vine that's coming off of that. Uh, one of the thing is tendrils. That's what allows them to grow up on trellises. One more tip on growing cucumbers in these small containers is you'll wanna come in and take the uh, tip of that plant off because you don't want it to keep growing long. You want it to set fruit. Let's grab this tip of this vine. Let's see if there's any others on here. I've got a nice cucumber forming there, there, and here where this new flower is at. I also have, if you turn the plant the opposite direction, another cucumber. They all look like they're going to start cheering. I do not want to have seven or eight of these uh, producing cucumbers at the same time. It just draws too much energy off the plant. So I'm going to pick the smallest ones and remove those. So now that I've pulled off all the excess smaller fruits, I have left four on the plant. There's one and two on this side of the plant and one and two over on the other side of the plant. The last thing that I want to do is to take the trimmed vines and place those across the top of the deck where they get the maximum amount of light. When doing this, the cucumber vine leaves can touch the front panel and if not careful, they could trigger some of the actions that normally would be set off by a finger touch. So be cognizant of where those leaves are touching as you do this. Despite a slow start that I think was triggered by the nutrient issue that I had, we are quickly making up time with a lot of new growth and kudos to Let Pot on a system that is going to provide a lot of benefits. If you haven't already, be sure to click subscribe to my channel. It enables me to get new products 
such as this system from LetPot that I'll soon reveal in a future video. And I appreciate the support of everybody who's already subscribed.